The beautiful autumn is over. Falling leaves turns into falling snow. I do really like the winter. It's fun and beautiful, but it does get a lot colder, and I found some interesting information on how it affects us. According to Hustle.com, a study in 2012 found that people feel more nostalgia in colder months, and also experience more warmth when they do. Furthermore, nostalgia can increase our resilience and positivity about the future, and cause spikes in self-esteem. So let's get a bit warmer and happier by taking a look at the good old computer from the early 90s. My older brother used to have the Amiga 500, but now we had the 1200, with faster CPU, better graphics and a hard drive. I could play so many amazing games and make animations, inappropriate animations. I guess I had some inspiration. This is my brother's computer that I'm borrowing. It has a few upgrades to make it a lot more convenient to use. It has the ACA 1233 with a 68-30 processor, real-time clock module, I think this is the Indivision AGA MK2CR scan doubler. I didn't want to remove it to check. And of course a compact flash card. And here is the Kickstart 3.1 RAM. And this is the Rapid Road USB module. And that's all. Let's put it back together and set up this Amiga to capture some footage. This is easy with the scan doubler. Just connect the DVI to VGA adapter, then a VGI cable that goes to an active VGA splitter, then another cable to any monitor, then another cable to the VGA to DVI scaler, then a DVI to HDMI cable from the scaler to the capture card, and we are all set. I could connect the Amiga directly to the capture card, but this way I can use any CRT while capturing, and the scaler keeps the same resolution all the time, so the recording software doesn't have any problems. With the USB I can use a regular USB mouse. The workbench is a bit of a mess, and I couldn't find the Lux Paint, but it's no problem. I downloaded it from the internet, and then transferred it to the Amiga with the USB. Then I used TS GUI to write the ADF files to the floppy disks, and then installed it. As you can see, the capture quality wasn't great for some reason. Most of my favorite games can be played on an Amiga 500, but I do have one favorite AJ game, and as I'm sure you have guessed, it's Pinball Fantasies. My biggest rush of nostalgia happened quite a few years ago, when I was out partying with some colleagues from work. I was with one friend of mine, and he had to stop by his apartment, so I tagged along. Now I was just in the present moment, out partying, just having fun, but at his apartment, I suddenly hear this sound.
Now I'm a very nostalgic person. And even more so when I'm drunk. And when I heard that sound, I got this rush of nostalgia. Because it wasn't me trying to get back to the past by choosing to think back. I was in the present moment. And out of the blue, my past with the Amiga came rushing in. It felt like the past wasn't just a dream, but it became so real to me. And that was absolutely a wonderful, wonderful feeling. Anyway, I just wanted to share that story. Moving on, I tried a different pinball game called Epic Pinball. This was the first time I tried this game and it looks fantastic. Lots of detail, great 3D effect, and there is even a small racing game within the game. I wanted to show off some more AJ games, but for some reason, many of them wouldn't work. I also tried to start a demo, and it wouldn't work. Lowering the resolution didn't help either, so I'm not sure what the problem is. So I think now it's time to give the Amiga back to its owner, and end the video. And if you subscribe and like and all that good stuff, it will make me very happy. I hope you feel nostalgic and warm now, and if not, perhaps 